Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to be talking about subqueries in SQL. Now let's start off with a simple query, this one here. It selects product, country, brand, and proteins from the view fundamental infos clean, which we uh, created previously. And I just added a filter, which is countries equal to United States. And I get this data. Now, one question I have, somebody would like to have the max proteins here in the next column so they can compare how much proteins has that item got in comparison to the max proteins for uh, United States or what is you know or what, or what are the min proteins I mean how does that product fare against the minimum proteins for the whole United States and how do I do that how can I do that we know how to get max and min with aggregates but here it becomes a bit tedious to do because then you'd have to group and so on and this is just a simple query now how how can i handle this problem well let's first of all comment this stuff out and and then let's create our query where we get that max proteins so this is my 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 query my aggregate query and what it does it gets the max proteins from open food facts data from a, from the table itself and i've just put in a filter united states and uh, proteins are, are not null and i'm grouping by countries so if i run that i get 133 so basically the max proteins for all items in the united states is 133 proteins now how can i integrate it in this here well that's where subqueries come in what I can do, just let me uncomment all that. And some queries are very simple. And uh, let me just uncomment, oh, sorry. Let me just uncomment that. And then what I do, just let me put a comma in here. I like to have those max proteins next to my, you know, proteins for each item. I just comma, take all that stuff down. And what I do now, I just cut that out. And a subquery is like this. I just open a paran, and in within those parans, I just insert my uh, my query, my aggregate query. Now, now this aggregate query is now a subquery. So this is the main query, the outer query, and this is the inner query. And now the only thing what I'm missing is I need to that that inner query has has an output and I got to name that output so I'm just gonna say uh, max proteins oops so now I have a subquery and now if I run that what I'm gonna have I'm gonna have my usual uh, uh, data for each item but then I have an aggregate which aggregates all proteins all over the United States. Uh, sorry, it, it, it aggregates but doesn't sum them up, it just creates the maximum. Now let me run that. And you see, now I have the results, and now I have here my item per item data, when these are the proteins for this specific item, and here I have the max. So now I can see how that product fares against the max. And I can, you know, scroll down. I can then obviously uh, compare, you know, how is it so much more than that, or is it so much lower than that? And the same thing you can do. You can do uh, numerous other things, like for instance, you know, instead of the max, why don't we? we you, obviously, first of all, before I proceed, obviously you can uh, have multiple sub queries in here. So one is the max. Now let's do another one with the average. So let me just uh, take that off and run. Uh, oh, did I? Oh yeah, I forgot a comma, you see? I need to insert a comma because that is one field and then I obviously I've got to do here average proteins. Uh, average proteins. Right, and now if I run that, I would have 
two fields now, max proteins and average proteins, and these are being calculated by subqueries. So I've got two subqueries in my main query. This is one subquery and this is the second subquery. And each subquery is providing just one piece of data. And it makes life much easier and much more modular because if I try to do that in one query, I don't know if it's even possible. And if it's gonna be so complex that you can't easily update it. And the nice thing about subqueries, I can test this thing on its own first. You know, if it returns the kind of results I want, all I gotta do is basically, sorry, just that. All I gotta do, test that individually, you know, just the way we did previously. And if it works, all I've gotta do is like, you know, put a bunch of, a couple of parents and then give it a name for that output. And then that's it. Now you have to remember one thing. Um, I can only select one field. I cannot have multiple fields because once I have multiple fields, we're going to have a problem here because I'm placing that subquery. That subquery is supposed to output just one output, you know, whatever it is, but it's got one column as a space. So it's, I cannot just say, oh, you know what, let me do a couple of things. Well, let's try it out. I mean, I can't, I can't uh, basically do something like that. That would throw an error because now my, um, let's do here min, my subquery is outputting two items, whereas my outer query is just expecting one item. And I'm sure we're going to get an error. And there you go, you see? And that is the problem with the whole thing. It expects one output, you see, and there you got the error as well. Subquery must return only one column, you see? And that's, that's what you got to pay attention to. That's why when you, um, and if I comment that out, then it'll work and run that. So that's why you got to pay attention. When you do subqueries, make sure that they have only one output because multiple outputs and your whole uh, query won't work because your outer query is expecting, you know, one column from the subquery. And if, it, if your subquery delivers multiple columns, then, you know, it's not gonna work. Now, subqueries are a very interesting phenomenon and we're gonna be using them often because you can do anything with subqueries. Now here we have a subquery as a field, as an additional field, in this case, um, you know, uh, calculating the, the max proteins. Uh, and what we can have, we can you can do with subqueries anything. For instance, instead of saying countries equal to United States, you can have that uh, 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 value being handled by a subquery. So subqueries can be used anywhere in SQL. As long as you, you know, segregate, you segregate them with provence, you can, uh, you know, make your queries much more powerful and maybe a bit more complex, but still very modular because you can test each subquery on its own before integrating it, integrating it into the uh, main query.